Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm going to do a project which is a Pier 1 dupe. And the, all the items that you need are from the Dollar Tree are these two things here. The wooden dowels and one of these game boards. You just need the flat piece of wood. For the wooden dowels you just need 12 of them. For four we'll leave completely the same length that they are here. Another four will cut these down. It'll be this line here. I don't know what that comes out to be in a measurement, but it's this line. So the four and a half is here. It's two lines before that. And then the next four, we're gonna cut those down to this line here. And this is the four inch mark, and it's two lines before the four inch mark. I'm just gonna demonstrate the gluing pattern with this set of four, and it will be the overlapping gluing pattern. So I'm using wood glue, and then this one would go to the bottom of this one, and then it would go up to the top here. And once it dries, flipping it over, and then adding the super glue to the tops of the spaces again. And then once it's all dry, this is what you should be left with. So you would have three squares that look like this. And if you're interested in trying this project out, please use the measurements that I mentioned earlier and you should be okay. Um, so I'm just going to put some wood filler in around here because we want to make these look like a continuous piece. Now that the wood filler has had a chance to dry, I'm just going to use this sander to smooth out the edges and then I'm going to assemble the pieces all together with this hot glue gun. And this is the only part that's kind of not Dollar Tree related because once this is cut in half, I'm going to stain this half and then I'm going to put a little bit of marble contact paper that I had left over on this half. You can do whatever you like for the base, but I'm just trying to make mine look as close as possible to the originals. And um, I happen to have this leftover marble paper. Definitely not necessary but I'm just cutting this in half now. I'm going to use one half now and then I'm going to use the other half later. And then for the bottom part of this the square sculpture you'll take the two two little stems of the pieces that you cut and then take one <coughs> and cut it at a slant. So I'm just gonna cut it down like this. And then this is what I'm left with, this angled piece. And I have that angled piece two times because the square sculpture is gonna stand on those like that. And I'll show you how it looks once it's all assembled. I'm gonna have to drill holes in this board at the bottom so that these can go into the wood and be a little bit more secure. All right, so I have the holes filled, drilled through. I think I'll just put some of the glue inside here. Oops. And 
this one into here. And now I'm going to position this on those two pieces. This is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint this with just some plain black acrylic paint. And I just want to have a nice base for it. So after I clear off some of the glue that kind of like bubbled out on some of the edges, I want it to be as smooth as I can. And I'm just going to paint it over with black paint. And then I'm going to spray paint it gold. And here it is with the original next to it. For this next project, um, what we're going to use is one of these wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. We need the game piece. We're actually going to use the other half of the game piece from the other tutorial. Um, so you only need to buy this one time. And then you'll need the wreath form as well as this package of clear plastic plates and it comes in a package of 12. You'll probably only need about four of them for this. What I did was... I traced out the shape of a leaf here and I'm just going to take one of the plates and um, I just freehanded this part. I took a pen and I just drew out the leaf um, here and then I cut it out and then this ended up being the stencil that I used so I drew this repeatedly on one of the plates. I doubled it and even tripled it in some cases and then just cut out this piece until I had the number that I needed, which was 42 of them. You can tell from the original, the leaves look like they have a little seam in the middle. So all you have to do is just bend the plastic a little bit and then open it back up. So I'm just gonna repeat that step for all of these and then assemble them together. And then I'll show you what happens next. And I'm just going to follow the picture here to glue these together. In order to use the wreath form for the purposes of this project, we're just going to need to cut it up. So um, I do have these wire cutters here and I'm going to use that to snip this wire apart. And then it's left with this little nub and then, then I take this little wrench here and snap that piece off too.
what I'm going to do is put some this dark brown stain onto this block and then I'm going to drill a small hole here and I'm going to put all these pieces down into the hole and then that's going to be the stand that will hold all the little stems together and then I'll attach the leaves to the stems once it's in place here. to keep these in place and then I'll do the same thing here since these are coated it's hard for them to stick together I'm gonna probably just use a piece of string I'm gonna use the string to add the extra little stems too so we have one two we have three stems here that need to be added to this to this middle stem here to create a little bit more texture. So hopefully this paintbrush will help. 